This video contains spoilers for the quest Heroes Welcome. If you do not wish for that quest to be spoiled, please stop watching. Fee began life in the Fremnik province, where he was a seer in his village. At one point in V's life, he discovered the Stone of Jazz on the Lunar Isle, the most powerful artifact created by the Elder God Jazz herself in order to create worlds, which provided V with immense power as well as discovering the skill of runecrafting. Due to the immense power of the Stone of Jazz, V's mind unlocked the potential of magic and caused V to grow from a short stubby human into one of an average build. The Stone of Jazz then disappeared and as quoted by V, was instantly removed by those who walk a higher astral path, leaving behind stones that would be called pure essence. The place where the Stone of Jazz also was the spot where V would build the astral altar. Soon after this, V founded the Moon Clan and established it on the Lunar Isle. With the Moon Clan, V would go on to create many of the runecrafting altars scattered throughout RuneScape today. The Moon Clan would eventually enter a bitter rivalry with the Fremnix of Relica due to the dispute of the sanctity of runes. The Moon Clan believed they should craft runes and use magic to better themselves, while the other clans saw runecrafting as blasphemy to their belief that runes and magic were a gift from the gods. After discovering the Stone of Jazz, it is speculated that V has slain at least one evil god and thus ascended to godhood. The speculation of V killing a god does not have much evidence behind it, but it is more likely true as it fits with V's alignment to a side of good. This ascension by using the power of a god weapon, such as a Stone of Jazz, can be proven with examples of Guthix slaying Skargaroth with the Elder Sword and Zamorak defeating Zaros, but not killing Zaros. Instead, he absorbed Zaros' power with the Staff of Armadil. V went on to become a Fremnic legend to both the Moon Clan as well as the other Fremnics in Relica. V would spend much of his later life searching for the Stone of Jazz, but would be unsuccessful in finding the stone again. Due to the events of the Gilinorian God Wars and the establishment of the Edicts of Guthix, V was forced to leave as he was a god. V, however, left Gilinor freely and understood why Guthix wanted gods gone. V would eventually come across many strange realms which seem a little like much of our popular movies, books, and games, such as the underwater city where someone would always say, would you kindly? Once Guthix's edicts were broken due to his assassination, V was allowed to return to Gilinor. Due to being recently united with the help of an adventurer, the Moon Clan and the other Fremnix prepared a celebration for V's return. When V returned, he was extremely happy to see his people and wanted to provide some oxen meat for them. Something however went wrong for V, and instead, the meat appeared to still be alive. V quickly left out of embarrassment, but not before telling Alfred the Planner to tell the adventurer of his location. Once the adventurer arrived to V's island, V told the adventurer that his strength was somehow leaking from his body. After some time, the adventurer was able to restore much of V's strength, but this was short-lived. Soon, the Dragonkin, the ancient curse protectors of the Stone of Jazz, arrived to kill both the adventurer and V due to them using the Stone of Jazz. Using the Elder Mirror, one Dragonkin named Sakrath used the Elder Mirror on the adventurer, but before the beam hit the adventurer, V pushed the adventurer out of the way and sacrificed himself. This powered the mirror and transferred the power to a captured dragonkin named Tarshak, who had managed to resist the curse and caused him to gain an immense power. Satisfied with the death of V, the dragonkin fled to their lair in the ancient cavern. The adventurer, now on a task of vengeance, found the dragonkin, however Tarshak had began mutating as a result of the power. This caused the other dragonkin to attack Tarshak, but they were quickly overpowered. Tarshak fled the chamber to the Grotworm Lair to get assistance from a dragonkin, Phalax. However, he dismisses Tarshak. Tarshak attempts to attack Phalax, but this backfires, and Phalax fires a Dragon Bane dart at him. The adventurer then shows up and attacks Tarshak, defeats him, and causes him to flee to the Brimhaven dungeon, where he mutates into a horrendous abomination. After the adventurer tracks Tarshak down, the adventurer fights and eventually kills him, avenging V. Many of V's followers built an altar in remembrance of V on his island, so that he may never be forgotten. V's legacy, however, will never be forgotten, due to his contribution to the runecrafting society and much of Gilador's magic. V 
began life in the Fremnic province. <sighs> Already screwing up. To create worlds, which provided B. B. Yep. B. <sighs> Leaving behind stones that would be called pure essence. The place where the stone of jazz also was the. Also was okay. Also was the spot. Was also the spot. That's what we need to change it to. Good so far. Good so far. The place where the stone of jazz also was the spot where the. <laughs> Come on. Saw rune crafting as blasphemy to their belief that the magic was a gift from. <laughs> Slain at least one evil god and thus ascended to god's hood. God's hood. Yep. Or freely and understood why Guthix wanted gods gone. V would eventually come across many strange realms. I just banged that thing very hard, and that's definitely going to make an impact in the sound recording, so let's not use that. Once Guthix's edicts were broken due to the assassination of V, due to the assassination of V, let's say he, we're not exactly there yet. V was allowed to return to Gilinor. Due to being recently united with the help of an adventurer, of an, let's re-pronounce that. I wanted to provide some oxen meat for them. Something, however, went wrong for V, and instead, meat, meat appeared. Wow, yes, meat appeared like he intended. Using the Elder Mirror, one dragon, Sakrath, one dragon, one dragon kin. It's a dragon. Kin. Haven dungeon, where he mutates into a horrendous abomination. After the adventurer, Tark, Tark's, Tark's. 